You'll find it in Stitch. You'll find it in Cannonball. You'll find it in Phil Woods. All kinds of cats, a lot of alto players, a lot of tenor players, a lot of greats use this technique. <laughs> talking about ghosting up a rip. Now, this is basically where you leave your tongue on the reed while you're ascending up, usually by um, some sort of pentatonic shape or by thirds. So this whole technique is basically about approaching the top of a line. Slow it down, it sound like this. The simplest place to start with this is by attacking one note ghosting two notes and then attacking the fourth note and you're going to be playing this in the context of an ascending chord outline so for me uh, i've got my g major seventh chord outline g b d f sharp and that first note is going to be tongued the second note and the third note the tongue is going to be on the reed so those are ghosted and then the top note is accented. So we're going from an N mm ghosted note to an accented T. So it's gonna sound like D N T. And if I was just to play it on a single pitch, D N T. Now usually this rip takes place in a very short span of time. So often this will be used with a group of three notes, four notes, five notes, six notes crammed into one beat with the tongue on the reed until you reach that top note and then that's accented. The best place to start practicing this is with an eighth note triplet. So you tongue the first of the eighth note triplets, then the next two are ghosted, and the top note is accented like this. <laughs> D-N-T. Usually, and this is especially true of Charlie Parker, there's a half-step approach tone to the note that is starting the rip. I'll highlight one example from Bird's solo on Blues for Alice, which I have a transcription of, you can find. Um, I'll link to it. He goes... And that's really where I've extracted this from as an example. But you can find this throughout his playing. You'll find it in Stitch. You'll find it in Cannonball. You'll find it in Phil Woods. All kinds of cats, a lot of alto players, a lot of tenor players, a lot of greats use this technique. Once you start to realize it's there, you'll start hearing it like everywhere. This technique can be practiced in a lot of ways. I recommend starting with this triplet shape and going through the entire G major scale or concert B flat major scale, approaching each degree of the scale from a half step below, and then going up to the seventh. It sounds like this. And then come down. That gets the basic uh, technique in your mind and associating it with this sort of ascending rip gesture. I would recommend being very slow with this at first. So if I'm practicing this, I really want to be intentional about the articulation. And if I can't get that clean, then slow it down even more. So you might even start like here. <laughs> The tricky thing about this is leaving the tongue on the reed and then bouncing from that like mm, ghosted note to a t attack. Almost like the end of the word like dent. So we're going D T. In addition to practicing it through the degrees of the scale stepwise, like this. 
I also recommend practicing it through the scale, moving around diatonically in fourths. So you approach first the first note of the scale, then the fourth, then the seventh, then the third, and so on. <laughs> So that's the basic starting point for this technique that I call ghosting up a rip. Mute this entire line that's ascending up to a high point and then you're gonna stick that top note with an accent. There's one other method that I'm going to talk about in the next video that I put out and that is where you actually take your tongue off the reed on the note just before the top note. So you have like this nitty, so it gives it a different kind of punch. But for now, feel what it's like to do it. Hear what it's like to hear yourself play it. And then you'll start to notice it as you're transcribing, listening to records. It becomes obvious how much people were using it, people still are using it as a technique. It, it'll expand your, your ears, it'll expand your technique, your articulation, everything.